Hello and welcome to Chili Bee Gaming. I'm Evie and today we're back with some more Alone in the Dark as part of our Spooky Saturdays playlist. Last time we finished chapter one and uh, travelled... I don't know whether we travelled back in time or we travelled to a particular universe and met with a big gentleman there. I can't remember what his name is now. And... Um, He's told us that Emily's uncle, Jeremy, has gone missing, but almost into another universe. It's very strange. So, let's get into it. Okay, so last time we came in here, this room. Let's have a good sniff around, shall we? So, we won't go through there yet. What's this? Hello? Oh, it's a bell. It's a bell. A rubber stamp. A lanyap. That's how you say it. I, I looked it up as I promised I would. A lanyap. There you go. Lanyap. And this is De Seto. That's the manor house, anyway. Anything on here? Any any information? What do we reckon? Through there or through this door? I don't think we have the key for this door. But... Bastis. That was his name. Bastis. Uh, okay. Alright. What's in here? Ooh. Hello? Broken plates. A clue. Ooh. Paul, you're right about the plates on the boiler and the clock. Mm -hmm. They have been sabotaged, and I think I know who did it. They have something to do with Jeremy's episodes and how he seems to disappear at night. Right now, it's important that you keep an eye out for any of the pieces. I want to find out if I can repair the plates. Let me know if you find any of them. Lottie. Tell Lottie to take a look at the well in the kitchen garden. Ah, so we maybe have to have a look in the well. Interesting. Ha ha ha. I hope y'all really don't mind me, me reading all these notes, but I think it's worthwhile. Because we, we, we find some good stuff. What's this? Room key number six. Key item. Ah, okay. Key item. I like that. Okay, what's this? Staff and patient directory. Clue. Dr. Elmore Lee Gray is DeSetto's chief doctor. Accounting and all administrative work is handled by me, Paul Waits. Magdalena Thompson, or Mags, is responsible for the household. Jean-Baptiste and Charlotte Tabois are responsible for keeping the guests' medical regiments in check. Finally, Jack Chance is our gardener, who can occasionally be seen in the conservatory, but is, for the most part, busy outside. Oh. There are currently six guests at Dosetto. Malcolm McCarthy and Ruth Talant reside on the first floor. Jeremy Hartwood, Elisabetta Perosi, Grace Saunders, and of course, Cassandra Beauregard live on the second floor. Okay. Right, well, I think we got room number six there, so we need to go to the second floor. Elisabetta, Elisabetta Perosi. Okay, right. Perfect. What else is here? What's this? Hello? Repairing the boiler. Ah, yes, the boiler. I saw you notice in the boiler room. You should know Mr. Chance won't be coming back. I got no business being in there myself, but you can take a valve from the wine cellar if you want to try to stop the steam pouring out. Be careful. Ah, so we can take the the valve from the wine cellar. Can we go in here? Oh, we could do. But let's just have a look around the back. This is very cute. Oh, look at all this. There's a safe. Okay, hello. What's this? Another Lanyapa Rorschach drawing. Very, very interesting. Okay, what's, what's, what's this? There's no way I can get into this thing. Okay. Better leave it alone. I think I clicked the wrong thing there. What's this? Okay, patient files. Here we go. Patient records. Hmm. Okay. Cassandra Beauregard, the beloved author. Very exciting, isn't it? What do you want to put down for a reason for admission? What her agent told us. Cassandra suffers from writer's block and needs to finish her moving picture script before the end of June. Mr. Chardot suggests Cassandra's heavy use of barbiturates is holding her back and risks ruining her career. Oh. And how should we summarize her personal history? Let's keep it short. Cassandra Beauregard is a beloved crime author who managed to pull herself out of poverty and into stardom. Five years ago, she tried killing herself by jumping off a balcony. Oh my God. The incident left her a cripple and now relies heavily on her wheelchair. 
And for diagnostic impressions? Cassandra suffers chronic back pain following her suicide attempt. Surprise. She self-administers oh. morphine to keep herself ambulant, but has become addicted and the desired effect is now lost. The drug abuse clouds her mind, and she is unable to focus on real life. Wow. To save herself from this insight, she instead makes up stories to fill out the gaps in her own thought process, resembling the Korsakoff syndrome. Wow. Oh, bravo, Doctor. How will you treat her? First of all, she needs to be weaned from her drug addiction, and hopefully it will resolve her compulsive lying. Then look into permanently numbing her pain in her back through surgery. Yeah. Finally, deal with her suicidal thoughts. Fantastic. With such a short time before June, I really hope she gets better soon. We will do what we can. Mm. Wow, poor woman. My god. Okay, what else? Uh, Grace Saunders. What's Grace's story? Grace is only young. Good god, she's only 11. Wow. Grace Saunders, 11 years old. Reason for admission? The mother insists on strict supervision by a proper gentleman to avoid further perversion of Grace's adolescence. What? Personal history? Grace's family possesses modest wealth and status. Her childhood seems ordinary, spending most of her time with private teachers and family friends. Grace's father recently passed away, leaving her mother the sole caregiver. And diagnostic impressions? Grace has trouble dealing with her father's death. She is willingly suppressing her feelings on the matter and isn't properly acknowledging the trauma she suffered. Any planned treatment? Grace needs nothing out of the ordinary. She simply needs parental guidance. Eventually, we can work on her feelings toward her father. Wow. Thank you, Doctor. I'll finish the paperwork and get her installed. Wow, okay. Who else have we got here? Malcolm McCaff McCarthy, excuse me. Hmm. Okay. Malcolm McCarthy, 54 years of age. Reason for admission? McCarthy admitted himself to Dossetto, stating simply that he needs some damn rest. Oh, yes. And personal okay. history. McCarthy claims he used to work as a lawyer in Baton Rouge, but says he can't go into details because of some legal dispute. Oh. His background remains largely a mystery, except for the occasional clue that he drops in conversation. Huh. And diagnostic impressions. McCarthy is an anxious man and an alcoholic. He often tells half-truths due to some deep-seated inability to trust other people. And how will you treat that? McCarthy will take some time to open up. Spending time with Jack's dog or the child should be good for him. Their harmless nature will help build his sense of trust. Hmm. Thank you, Doctor. Who's this? Ah, Elizabeth. This is Elizabetta, excuse me. This is who we have to, um, well, we have the room key for. Anyway. Elizabetta Perosi, 33 years old? What should I put down as reason for admission? Well, Perosi broke into Dorsetto and was found wandering the grand parlor. She was confused and suffered partial amnesia. She insisted she belonged here and offered to pay for her stay. Hmm. Right. What do you make of her story? Perosi claims to have been a member of the Astarte artist colony some 20 years ago. A claim that seems contrafactual due to her young age. She looks to be and even thinks she is 33 years of age. That would make her a child at the time. It seems fair to say that Perosi's story is untrue. Deliberately so or not. Ooh. Diagnostic impressions? Do you have anything? Perosi's story is peculiar, because she retracted her story about the artist colony. She no longer claims to be the same person as Elisabetta Perosi. However, my staff's research has confirmed there was a Perosi at that time who was in her early thirties. Mm. I suppose this case will take some time to investigate. How will you go about it? I wanted to contact the real Perosi, but it seems the whole colony disappeared one night. September 29th, 1915, during a hurricane. I will have to take it slow and figure out what this spell of impersonation could have been. Oh, oh I'm sure it will all clear up eventually. Thank you, Doctor. 
So who was page one? Oh, page one was just the front. Okay. Um, Ruth Talon, 29 years of age. Reason for admission? Oh. Ruth's father wishes that his daughter be removed from New Orleans nightlife for the foreseeable future. He fears that her overly free spirit is tarnishing the family's reputation. I see. Sounds simple enough. She's a party girl. history? Ruth comes from considerable wealth. Her family owns several hotels and restaurants. Unlike the rest of the family, her sense of adventure has taken her around the world, including France during the Great War as a photojournalist. Oh. The last decade, she has provoked many rumors of being a debauched flapper, bordering on nymphomania. Oh my god. And diagnostic impressions? Despite her father's frivolous reasons for her to be admitted, Ruth does seem to provide an interesting case. She is refreshingly open and doesn't shy away from talking about her life during the war or her continuous celebration after returning to the States. She is admittedly a sexual deviant and feels no remorse. And her treatment plan? Simply staying at Dorsetto should do wonders for Ruth. If not, at least for her family's reputation. Ruth doesn't need to change, but with therapy, I might be able to share with her some sympathy towards her family. I doubt she will settle down and become as dull as the rest of them, but <laughs> at least she might try to be more discreet in the future. Mm. Well, like all the patients are accounted for. Yeah, except, except Jeremy. Jeremy. Yeah, there was no no entry for Jeremy. Is his in there? We must have to find that safe code. Right. Well, let us um, continue through here, I suppose. I need the key. Hmm. Oh, is it this key? No. Oh, we don't have the key. God bless it. Well, never mind. Let's um, go back out here and we can head across the way and see what else we can find. Okay, so we're here. We want to go to Elizabeth's... Elizabeth... Elizabeth's room. That's where it was, wasn't it? So the second floor... Okay, so the second floor, Jeremy Hartwood's room, Perosi's room, that's where we want to go. Right, okay, well we'll go, we'll go up and then um, see what we can find, shall we? So is this the first floor? What's with all the weird statues? Oh. Hmm. We go through here? Is this a door we can open? Oh! Oh! Yeah, uh, sorry, detective. Didn't mean to obstruct justice or anything. That's You're fine. Okay. You know, I'm kind of busy with my own case of a missing person. I, I was wondering if you've seen Grace, a girl about yay high. I can't say that I have. Why are you asking? Well, I'm looking for her. Is she in trouble? No, 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 no. Uh, she's just uh, hiding somewhere. Why? Drinking. We can't have a rascal like that running around unchecked at a time like this, you understand? Well, I haven't seen her. Well, let me know if you find her. I'll be around. Mm. Uh, I'll keep an eye out for your man, Jeremy. You scratch my back, detective, and I'll scratch yours. Don't like him. Why is he boozed up and looking for a kid? It's weird, man. We've made a note. Ooh, what room's this? Locked room. Okay. Yes, I don't like him. Oh, this is... Um, that was Jeremy's room. So there was Jeremy's. There was... Um, Bastis's. What's this? Anything in here? No. Nothing, really? Anything in here? No. Okay, I think that's... This is Elizabeth's room. Ah, yes, so it is. Huh, how eccentric. That's kind of nice. Okay, what's this? I must return. I did it. I crossed the thresholds to my intended destination without a focusing device. My talisman now knows these roads. And I have no need for the plates. I can find my way to Lafayette as easy as I find my own room. 
I visited the grave of my father and seen the oven waiting for me. Thank you for opening these doors. Mm -hmm. I now must summon my courage and go back to that hateful mound outside the oil rig. I hope you'll be feeling better when I return. Jeremy. Mm, so did Elizabeth show him something? Uh, what's this? Ah. What are these symbols? Looks like alchemy or star constellations. Mm, so we need to find a code. Okay. Anything else in here? It's probably very rude sniffing around a lady's bedroom, especially in, in these sorts of times. I don't know. Perosi's journal. Well, okay. You may need to remember how to get them out again. They are locked up for good reason. I am sure she is still able to whisper the answer in the ears of the wrong people. But not for long. I will see her burn soon enough. That black goat will be sacrificed to put an end to it all. Then it will all be over. No more Derseto, and sadly, no Astarte. Those good pirates of Pontchartrain. May you still sail the lake until you find the shores of Hali. Is this something, can we, can we, oops, have a look at it? Maybe? Hmm. Ah, look! Here we go. So, Aquarius is the waves, Scorpio is the M with the tail, and then Sagittarius is like a, almost like a sword shape. So, waves, waves, M, sword shape. Okay. Okay. Oh. Ah. Hmm. Well, let's keep looking around. We can, we can look into that further. Ah, this is like the Ferrosi. The Astarte Artist Colony. I remember hearing about their disappearance. Mm. Must have been 15 years or more now. Elizabeth, Elizabetta Ferrosi. Seven. Hmm. Oh, is this like a... James McMahon. These paintings got some grim looking rot on them. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, that's just 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 for the sake of argument. Complete the shape with the rot on the paintings. Okay. Uh. Oh, I see. Okay, let's just do it. Hmm. It's a bit weird. Not what it does for us. Ah, hold on, hold on. So, William. Franklin and Nora. William, Franklin and Nora. Okay, let's have a look here. So William is two. So two, nine, two, nine, four. Two, nine, four. Okay, so let's have a look here. So two, nine, four. Two, nine, four. Okay. Two, nine, four. So we want... Two nine four. We want Pisces. Uh, nine Pisces, Libra, Taurus. Pisces, Pisces, Libra, Taurus. So backward C's. Upside down circle. Pisces, Taurus. No, wait a minute. It's Pisces, Taurus, Libra. Okay, so Pisces. Okay, there you go, Taurus, Libra. <sighs> Got it. Broken plate. A large. A piece of a larger decorative plate. It has a dark and burnt quality. Ooh. Can we rotate it and have a look? No, no. Okay. Interesting. All right. Well, well, 
We have found some interesting information there, folks. Huh? What? What, what the hell? Wait a minute. Ah. Pull out your gun, sir. Oh, look. I better, um... What is this? Oh. Ugh. Ow. Are they like worms? Oh. Can we sort of pass through? Ow. Oh. Really? Whoa. Whoa. It's stained. Looks like some kind of rot. Oh, what happened? Everything's normal again? Oh, right. yeah. Look at this. Okay. This must be the clock that Jeremy wrote about in the commonplace. Uh, looks like the plate that held the talisman in the seance room. Ah. But it's broken and missing some pieces. So we can put that there. Oh, brilliant! Okay, well, we'll... we'll leave that for now oh good lord okay so what's through here hmm i need the key ah blast it okay Ugh. do you suppose that's is that back to normal now wow like nothing ever happened eh so we've been in her room what about in here oh there's nothing in there we can't go in there can we go in here no it's locked God bless it. Okay. Well, never mind. We've got a couple of places we can go. Try to try the keys you got from Batiste. Oh yes, definitely. Oh, you can get in the library. Brilliant. Okay, so this is the library, huh? Oh, hello. What's this? Lost plantations of Louisiana. Clear. Lost plantations of Louisiana. Thierry Bricklow, 1917. Their settle was a small plantation on the eastern shore of Lake Pontchartrain. The land was considered difficult for industry and was sold for only $30 to Elijah Pickford in 1818. Pickford employed hundreds of workers from nearby New Orleans to clear the woods and build a small plantation mansion facing the lake with a striking Greek Revival temple facade. Desetto kept a modest production of Perique tobacco and indigo that persisted up till the Civil War. During the antebellum era, Desetto was the source of many rumors concerning voodoo and witchcraft. Ooh. People who traveled the lake reported seeing people dance at night in front of bonfires, bleating and wailing. On June 17, 1862, Captain J.W. Norton of the Union Army recounts leading a raiding party from ships anchored in Lake Pontchartrain in order to seize control of Desetto and free the slaves working there. The captain was surprised to find the workers fighting back with unprecedented zeal. Norton's account describes these men and women as enraged with fanaticism. Mm. Pickford reportedly tried to placate the raiders, but was shot in the confusion. Whoa. Captain Norton left the mansion burning and retreated to his ships with his men. Mm. Their settle was left in ruins for several decades. The ownership of the land was long disputed and returned to the Ledoux family in 1901. Several police reports were filed during the following years as the Ledoux tried to get rid of a camp of squatters on their land. The police made several visits to remove the trespassers, but the people kept returning. On November 1st, 1907, Inspector Legras of the police charged a deadly attack in order to save several children kidnapped by the squatters. Whoa. Many were killed, and even more were jailed. The following year, Ledoux rebuilt Desetto, incorporating the surviving stone foundation and adding a magnificent wrought iron conservatory. The farmland had been reclaimed by the surrounding woods, so it was no longer profitable to use as a plantation. Instead, the house was turned into an artist's colony, the Astarte Artist Colony was a successful group of artists, including figures such as painter Heinrich Cassel and poet Nora Keith. 
The group was also known for their beloved Mardi Gras crew called the Pirates of Pontchartrain. On September 29, 1915, a tropical hurricane tore through Louisiana, causing Lake Pontchartrain to flood New Orleans. Due to the remote location of their settle, it took almost two weeks for outsiders to learn that the artist's colony was abandoned. Wow. The twelve residing artists had all vanished without a trace. Mm. The empty mansion of their settle still stands on the shore of Lake Pontchartrain, with much of its temple facade intact. The Ledoux family currently has no intention of repairing the house. Right, well. Hmm. Okay, well. Interesting. A little bit of history. A little bit of history there. We always like a little bit of history. There's Nelson here. Hmm. Very curious to open these. Ah, is this like a reading room? Yes, indeed. Okay, so what's this? Ooh. Ooh? It's a rifle. Wedge shut. Hmm. Maybe there's a way for us to unwedge it. I don't know whether that's that's a word. Uh, okay. So what's through here? Is this the conservatory. Ah! Whoa! Christ! Not what? Yet. Okay, can we can we just no, go? We got here. Chain door. Okay, well. Is there anything we can do there by the looks of it? Oh, we can't run because Oh, why is the place burning, man? Anything in this toolbox? No. What's with all the oil? No. Ah, bolt croppers. <gasps> we can use these. We can use these down in the garden as well. Okay, let's get over there. Ugh, wading through treacle. There we go. Whoa. And we're back. What the hell is going on? Exactly. What is going on? Ah, this is where we were before. Brilliant. Okay, well, let's... What are we... Okay. Oh, bloody hell. Got stuck on the bloody steps. Jeez Louise. All right. Whew. I got a little bit concerned there. I'm not going to lie. I thought we were going to be stuck forever. All right, let's, let's go back out here. Now, they did say to look in the well as well. In the well as well. So, I imagine... That there's something in here. Yes. Aha. Got it. What's this? Water hose. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe we could do something with the water hose. I don't know what we could possibly want the water hose for, but there's a ladder here as well. Can we? Ah, that's how we can get up and down from there. Brilliant. Okay, so where's the well? There's supposed to be a well here, is there not? Is this a kitchen garden or is this the kitchen garden? I just realised. We have a map. Kitchen garden, yes. So there should be a well here somewhere. Hmm. Ah, what's this? A mummified cat, which is a lanyap. I mean, it's not really a lanyap I'd want. Not mm. gonna lie. Oh, is this the well? Water hose. Ah! Yes. Okay. Connecting it all together. Huh. So, okay. Ah, maybe we have to follow the hose back to the tap. Fill that with water and the bucket should float, should it not? If my um, thought is correct. And there she goes. What? What is that? 
Are you a cat in there? Hello? It's a kitty. I'm not a fan of that. Not a fan of the eyes. Leave leave me alone with the eyes. Ooh, freaky. Okay. What's this? <gasps> a piece of the plate. We have it. Ha ha! We're good at this. Okay. Right. Open it up. Can we go back through the library? I think we can. Okay. I would still quite like that. I wonder how we get it. There must be a way, eh? We should do a little bit more digging around through these rooms though first, just just as we can, I suppose, okay. Oh, this was the bathroom, wasn't it? And this was where we came in, from downstairs, there. Can't get in there because we've not got the key. Hmm, there's the library. Don't think, no. Nope. Hmm. All right. So we still need to find the key for that. Let's let's. Should we go upstairs? Let's see what's up here. It's wedged shut. Another one that's wedged shut. Why are all these rooms wedged shut? Ah, what's this? Private. No entry. We didn't look in Batiste's room, did we? Actually, now that I think on. Maybe there's some clues in there. Oof. Look at him go! Just realised, yeah, we could have just climbed up the ladder, but never mind. Never mind. It's okay. Alright, let's 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 have a look in Batiste's room while we're here. kind of want to know if he's uh, got anything in his room. Or can we not go in Batiste's room? We might not be able to, actually, now I think of. Oh no, we might be able to. Oh, we can! Hey! Oh! Very simple surroundings, but you know what? Nothing wrong with that. What's this? Weird tales. Fountain pen, a lanyap. Okay. Brilliant. Weird tales. Devils. The devil plant. Oh my god, okay. Anything else here? Any other notes? Things of interest? Can we open the windows? No. Alright, well. I suppose it was worth coming in and having a look. Just to see. Can't go in there. We've been in there and we've been in there. Alright. Well, let's go and put this piece in and see what happens, shall we? Okay. Put that I in. I think I've seen this somewhere. Oh, we have to. Oh. Well. Hmm. That's it. I okay. Think the clock broke. Or maybe it just stopped at a very precise place. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so what's this then? Ah. Three, four, six. So three, uh, four, six. Oh, six. Like that. No? Oh. Is it. S ah. It's the bigger one, so six, four, three. There you go. There's a picture in the black glass. It's showing me something. Mm. It's the hallway outside Jeremy's room. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. All right, let's 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 go then and see what's what. It's through here. Oh, something bad's gonna happen here, man. Okay, yep. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay.
not a fan not a fan at all what what the hell what is this huh I made it I entered another one of Jeremy's memories so so okay this is okay what's this Oh, so we can get down. Alright. Okay, so we need to find Jeremy in here, behind the... in the hateful mound. I mean, we are going to take a real good look around because it's not every day you get to sort of go to these sorts of places, is it? Okay. Oil rig report. Ooh. May 1923. Monday. All okay. Ready for delivery. Maintenance. Oil pump must be serviced. Any tampering causes large spills unless properly forestalled. Mm -hmm. Tuesday. Shipment delayed but delivered. Maintenance. Service bridge close to broken. Wednesday. Prospectors reluctantly agreed to show the burial mound to Mr. Hotwood, a painter, who read mm -hmm. about our finds in the papers. He means to return tomorrow and try to find a way inside. Good lord. Thursday. Mr. Hartwood's efforts delayed. The workers seemed nervous about his presence. Hartwood promised not to return to the compound. Instead, he has taken up an offer by L'Officier, the riverboat captain, who means to pilot him to the site tomorrow morning. Hopefully that's the end. Work can resume. Maintenance. Bridge from the oil tower to the bayou has collapsed. Sabotage suspected. Hmm. This is the devil that guides us now. Good lord, really? Huh. Interesting. Nothing in here. Oof. Just brushed us aside like I don't know, nothing. Nothing in here, no. So he came here to find this hateful mound. Mm. Nothing. All right. Well. Mm. Okay. Let's. Oh. I need the key. We don't have the key. Okay. So we need to find a key. Let's go and find a key. Hmm. Okay. Wow. Does the key just come out here? I'd say that sounded like a helicopter, but, well, I don't think they had helico helicopters in this um, era. What in the world is this? Gators. There's something missing. Okay. Surely it's got to be gators. In the... Oh my god. Um... There you go. I actually remembered what flashlight was. Ha ha ha! Okay, bullets. Brilliant. Is this just a load of lockers and stuff? Yeah, not really anything in there. Ooh. The jetty key. Brilliant. Mm. Marvellous. Right. Is this anything in here? No. Health. Brilliant. Okay. My bullets, absolutely tremendous. So I'm hearing music. Okay, uh, so we've been in there and we've been in there. We obviously can't go over the water, I don't believe. I think we've been everywhere we can be by the looks of it. Don't think we can go in here. Oh wait, no, maybe. Can't we? No. Alright, well I assume the jetty key is for this door, so let's get in over here. And we're in. This makes me a little edgy. Look at that. 
What is that out there? <gasps> There's two of them. Uh, Should I shoot them? I suppose. Would that be a wise thing to do? Or would it just attract attention? I don't know. I don't think it's really doing anything but... No. Alright, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. It's fine. What do we have here? Pipe. Brilliant. Why is there blood? That's, that's, that's a little bit concerning. Okay, what's in here? Bridge lever. Ah, yes. Marvellous. Okay. Got it. So that's to obviously mess about the bridge. We'll take that. Anything else? Why do I get the feeling something bad is going to happen here? It sounds like something bad's going to happen here. Not going to lie. Okay, what's that? What is that? What are you? What are you? Oh my god, okay. Dino hole. What the hell is that? What is that? Can we, can we, are we able to get through here now? Oh, thank God. Bloody hell. Ugh. That was stinky. Ugh. Okay. Let's put this in. Can we? Okay, yep. Put that in. Crankity crank. It worked. Oh, yeah. Oh! Can we just go? Good God. Standing there like just somebody's dinner waiting to be eaten. Good God. Okay. Okay, don't fall. Uh, that looked oddly like a coffin. Oh, it's with the red cockroaches. That's a little weird. So we've got a pipe. Another pipe. Very nice. And a box of bullets. Brilliant. Okay. Some more stairs that we can go down, which is interesting, but let's just have a little looky looky over here first, shall we? Okay. Oh! Alright. What is it? Really? 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 Jeez Louise, man! Well, we've got six bullets left. And a hatchet. Okay, well. Let's just hope and pray. Oh, we got some more bullets now, thank God. Okay, anything in here? Got a shovel there. Shovel will be useful, I'm sure. Hammer. Can't use the hammer. Oh, more health. Brilliant. What's the, is the shovel a weapon or a... Oh, it is a weapon. Okay. Can use a, the shovel or the hatchet. Maybe the shovel would be quite handy dandy, I think. What's this? Okay, anything in here? Oh, bullets. Yeah, we'll always take the bullets. Okay. We're armed now with a shovel. With which I will dig your grave, my dear. Oof. I don't like this place. Is that a... That looks like a pipe. 
more bullets, another shovel. Can't do anything there. All right. Okay. All right. Reload. What the hell are these things, though? I mean, look at that. Oh, it's like an alligator and a... I don't know. I don't know. Looks pretty warm. But this needs some You, you, you. Jeez Louise, man. Okay. Can we use our shovel to break this? This is not fun, you know. Get across this bridge. I feel edgy being on the bridge. I feel edgy being stood on the dirt, to be real. Ugh. Something sounds very bad. Very bad. Here. More bullets, thank you. We will always take more bullets. Oh! Jeez! I didn't spot you there. Okay, I killed him. I think my shovel is about to break though, which is not brilliant. Really? But, uh... Ooh! What is that noise? Yeah. full of pipe. Okay. Or tubes. I'm hearing music. Hmm. Anyone dead in here? No? Yeah. More bullets. Lovely. Oof. God. Nothing? No. Oh, man alive. This is this is not nice. So I think my shovel is about to break, which is not good news. It's bad news bears for me. You know what? what is it? Where is it? Who is it? You're dead. Oh god, it's a little figurine. Okay, in there, bullets here. Yeah. Here, more bullets. Let's um, just reload, shall we? Oh, we can. What's this thing? Gazing statuette to Lanyap. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is not good, is it? Come on now. We're sneaking? Why are we sneaking? I mean, we're not really very sneaky with our bloody torch going, are we? But just keep it here. Okay. Let's turn the torch off. Oh, you can sod off! Purpose. 
Come on, Sam, you! Bullets. All out of bullets? Are you for real? Stupid bloody... Yes! Killed it! Oh, this is kind of gross. I'm kind of grim. The noise is horrible, might I add. Oh. What's that? What is it? Bullets? Oh! Take the bullets, always, always. Okay. Let's go, Eddie. I think the less time we spend here, the better. Okay. What's this? Hi! There's gotta be a way to get to the other side. Is this my bullets? Okay. Okay, okay. Go away. Absolutely gross. Good lord. Alright. What's that mean? Shut down the oil. Whoa! Jeez Louise, man! Oh, are we going to do what I think we're going to do? Oh, really? We're going to balance this out? Oh god, Eddie. Let's get up the ladder. Let's go. Why are we climbing up this tower, by the way? Just as an ask us, isn't the tower... Wow. Tower's on fire. Huh. All right. Now what? Yeah, I don't know how how this is gonna work. What's this? Tough cloth. Okay. Tough cloth. Oh, I know what we're gonna Come do. Come on, Carby. Would you rather fall to your death than go up in flames? Yep. Let's 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 do it, baby. Here we go. Hold on! <sighs> oh, we are so not in, um... Not in New Orleans anymore. Well, maybe, maybe not normal New Orleans. Good God. Alright. Well... This is, this is, this is fun. Running through the swamps of Louisiana with... With things in the water. That sounds like people. Oh, really? Really? I have to slog through this? God. I think this is not open. Don't know what that was, but oh my god, how incredibly gross. What is that noise? Oh, I hate it. Don't take a breath, Eddie. Jesus. Can we not? Yep. Yeah. I think maybe we'd best get out of here as fast as we can, you know? It's the hateful mound Jeremy talked about in his book. It certainly is. Let's have a look here. Whoa. Okay. Why is it called a hateful mound?
Oh. Don't come any closer. Whoa. I'm armed. Whoa. Get that thing out of my face. Who are you? What are you doing here? I'm just a detective trying to find something called Tarawea. You after Jeremy too? Why? I'm working for his niece. She wants to make sure he's all right. He might be unharmed, but far from all right. He's a curse upon DeSeto. Oh, God. Oh, here we go again. Quiet. What is that? What? Oh, Christ in heaven. Are we back? Looks like it. But... I... How? Okay, okay. So what's in the bag? A pallet knife. Okay, pallet knife. Reflections on the power of the verb in certain texts. Sitting room key, we'll take that. Okay, well, do you know what? I think we are going to leave it there now, because what an adventure, good grief. Just, wow, <laughs> I'm kind of blown away. But what we will do next time is we will continue onwards, we will try and unravel this, this, this mystery that is slowly, I don't know, breaking open in front of us. But until next time. Be safe, be good, and look after yourselves.